Okay. There we go. Oh. There we go. Awesome. So this is the one of the one of the things that you're gonna want to do. So this is this is Doom uh, on a black belt level. You're gonna want to definitely get used to this, which is yes, I'm playing on a controller and it is inverted. Ooh. Um, Love this. You're you like a pilot right now. <laughs> Just customized controller. You have different settings, and uh, this is really important. So then I like to take uh, switch equipment, which is normally on this directional pad, and I put it on the left thumbstick so I could do it really fast and switch between ice bomb uh, and grenade. This is actually totally new for Doom Eternal. I, mean, I know we're talking about master yeah. levels, but in 2016, we didn't let you uh, customize controllers completely. So yes. really a nice accessibility and, and just uh, you know play your way type of uh, yep. feature here. Totally. I love it. So really important because you're going to need to be switching. Uh, now, this is, this is how I like to play. Uh, some people like to put on the left thumbstick uh, anything they want. You can reconfigure this however you want. Yeah, I switch uh, mods on the left thumbstick. Yeah, you can also reconfigure your uh, weapon wheel. So if you want to delete what? things, right, like, yeah, it's crazy. So th there's an absurd amount of customization uh, wow. in the game. It's, it's completely crazy, uh, the amount of stuff that you could do. So then you can basically put all the things in the weapon wheel in kind of like the quickest order of your like main offenders of like, this is my favorite weapon, then I like to switch to that, I like to switch to that. That's amazing. So uh, in this case, I'm going to have everything unlocked. Okay. And I have every single gun mastered with all of the mods. And so you'll get to see everything. And then I'm going to customize my runes. This, this one is, is super important to me. This is literally as if Hugo had 100% of the, the game prior to coming into this master level. So yeah. you really, I mean, like, this is, <laughs> this is maxed out. So what I like to use is uh, increased movement control while in the air, and I like to use uh, perform glory kills faster, and then I like my equipment to recharge uh, faster. Uh, it's hard not to pick this one, too, because it gives you health when you blood punch guys. But uh, I'm just going to go with this for now. Sometimes I change it up. Yeah, you'll be fine. Sometimes I use the speed boost one after glory kill. So yeah, I mean, we'll it sounds like you're, you're push forward plus plus <laughs> plus right now. Look at that auto map. That thing is Beautiful. awesome. Yeah. It's amazing. All right, so this is Cult of Space, correct? So yeah, this is Cult of Space. Uh, third map in the game again. Really, really early. And, and uh, you know... Right here in the in the uh, first time you play the level, you're, there's a couple zombies, so. And you already got a kaka demon. Yeah, like, already feeling the challenge. In the first few seconds. Just wanna get your air control going. I've played this level so many times and thinking about a revenant in like this like nice quiet. That was zone. pretty skillful double weak point takeout right there. With the the stinky Ooh. bomb and then the, the hard scope. That was weird. Deleted him. Got him. There it is. It's a great glory kill. Oh you knew that was gonna happen. Oh. I see what you did there. That was <laughs> nice. I love that you guys are such masochists that you somehow put hazards on, on climbing. Right. <laughs> climbing. That's insane. So uh, normally when we test these, we play them on Hurt Me Plenty, and no one's actually ever played these on Nightmare. Should I play it on Nightmare? Yes. What do you think? Yeah. But I'm on a controller, and all the mouse and keyboard people say that I can't do this. <laughs> oh, oh, no. So it's think they're wrong. It's probably going to be too much. And it's even inverted after that. My god. I thought that was it. So OK. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh. I, I, okay. I, it's, it's, That's, you need a mouse and keyboard? <laughs> no. proven, are they right? I, I don't know. Something's going on. OK. I do have to call out our fast load times. It, it's amazing. Yeah, oh, that's like, absolutely insane. Yeah, you were in that thing just seconds later. I mean, look at how many enemies are loading right now. So Hugo, how are you usually walking through this Doom Dance of like the prioritization here? You always talk about prioritizing targets. What are you prioritizing when there's like 30 on the screen? I gotta be honest. There's no way I'm talking <laughs> to you right now. <laughs> that's the right answer. I cannot.
Oh. You maybe should have warmed up a now, little bit before the night. Can it be nightmare. done? There, there's the stick. There's, there's probably big. some dust in there. Yeah, there's an old really controller. Yeah, it's funny. It's like a little bit of lag. That's the thing. It takes such. Uh, you, you really got to be used to the controls. Been practicing back there. Ah. Uh. It's okay. Yeah, a little nightmare. It's <laughs> nightmare. Yes. It's like your actual nightmare. Right yeah, it's now. supposed to be. This is Hugo's nightmare. Welcome back. Starting strong with the ballista. Disabling those destructible demon spots. Oh, very nice freeze. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my. That was the ice bomb there that froze everybody. I feel like that ice Again. bomb to the super shotgun just is deleting the heavy. Yeah, it's guns. fantastic. Yep. Ooh. See, I think you guys are getting the way the game works. Everybody's cheering every time a weak point's hit. Yep, telling you. It's amazing, yeah. It's really satisfying, too. I mean, I can't... Hugo's that, like, that, yes, it is satisfying. <laughs> it, it's it. so satisfying to hit a weak point. Well, it's, it's another credit to the sound team, too. Like, all of the little, like, cues that you get for the fact that you've hit those. Yep, yep absolutely. It really is. You get that instant feedback. Oh, the cyber demon! What are you gonna yeah, he's do? Stop! <laughs> I mean, you can hear fodder. every single time that that's the that's the uh, tyrant locking you up there. That's right. Oh god! So something's Starting going on with the. Oh, oh, that that's a bug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. It, it, it is. It, it delayed. I I felt that on the when I was practicing there. That's good support. Yep. That's what you do for a friend. <laughs> I, I will say, he's he's making this tough on himself. He literally could whip out the Crucible on that Tyrant true. and take him out almost immediately. Ooh. So You really feel like a sense of relief when that tower falls oh, yeah, of the Cyber Demon. All right. I was a little nervous. How about now? And he did it, guys. Let's hear it for Hugo. Come on. It's pretty that, good. No, that was nothing. It was awesome. <laughs> that was nothing. So... There is a little bit of a bug on the on the BFG, but that's that's already been solved. So in the level, there's also just a ton of secrets. We're gonna show them one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see it. Just punching his way into everything here. Okay. Ooh. Very ominous. Looks like the prison cell is open. What's it gonna reveal? Uh, well, there it's not there. A secret up there. There's actually <laughs> a central <laughs> battery up there. On the master level, there's a thing up there. So, so little pro tip, like this is key. Like basically, you have to be able to constantly move because on nightmare, every single enemy is is going to be throwing heavy shots at you uh, every second. So you can actually, if you master like having to how to stay alive in a tight little space and kind of do the dance with the enemies, uh, that's critical to to the play in nightmare. Dash too, so, right? I mean, that's dash all of it, but but yeah. definitely it's these little microcircle movements uh, that really throw up. Because uh, just think, every single enemy uh, in the level is is targeting you at that moment. So this is basically like the next it's level of circle time. strafing now, now, right? Because you've got the normal one you're you're doing, you know, casually. It's still tough to do, and now you're adding dash to that with two of those. It's just bananas. That looks like a hero pose right nice. there. You got him. Frozen Dread Knight. Caught him in the Heisman. Yeah, you, you saw a good example there of him, like of that swapping uh, equipment with the left uh, the left thumbstick. The equipment charges at at different rates, so it's a really great tactic and, and necessary when you're playing a master level to be able to swap between your ice bomb and your grenade really quick and and use them in concert with each other. So you don't have to wait for that cooldown of one of them. Yeah, the you don't have to wait for the cooldown for the other one. Yeah, that is a high-level strat. So you see how I kind of, like, nervously, I'm just, I'm always doing this. And you really want to get good at, you know, just quick scoping things. This is the most absurd hallway ever. <laughs> yeah, let's you, you talk have about triggers that, that yeah, that, that bring swinging blades through the hallway. It's amazing to, to bring lure demons down there and then take them out with the blades. Because the blades are an insta-kill if anything it hits, correct? They just eat them. Uh-oh. That carcass. 
You forget that the carcass actually has a really nasty attack. It's not just that wall. Oh, up. Yeah, it's should have taken out that weak shields point. and the rings. Yeah, right? you can't. It you really can't leave control. the Arachnatron's uh, weak point. Okay. Got to take care of that cannon. Behind. I love that there's just a platform of demons just waiting. They're just they've been waiting for the Slayer. They're just like, oh, there he is. Rounds, <laughs> and then they rise up. <laughs> oh, very nice. Nice. That ice bomb right there is critical. Okay, so he's got rid of one, but wait, there's another Arachnatron. Because this is master levels. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. That, ah, that you carcass is ready. That, that is one thing when you play De uh, when you play Doom, you'll feel it. You'll have these moments where you're just like, ah, oh, I've just it's if you if you've ever skied or something like that, you kind of like catch an edge and you're like, I'm going down. That it happens all the time. You just feel like that one false move, particularly at Nightmare. Yeah. It's like you cannot make mistakes. But that's what's so satisfying is when you're doing it all. It correctly. is, yeah. It's you get like, into this flow, and and it's just amazing. <laughs> I love how he just replaced where the other enemy was. Yeah. Carcass came up. Arachnatron's like, you're not going to glory kill him, <laughs> actually. Ah! Oh. They're just ganging up on you. It's punishing. Yes. All this right. This episode of Hugo's Nightmare, <laughs> Cult of Space, the master level. We can get one of the Celtics to come back here and help you out with Damn. it. Ooh. They're actually busy playing basketball tonight, but, you know, we might be able to call in a favor. All right. Carcass is taken care of handedly. He's got him on fire. It's popping armor. Look at that. Look at this. A beautiful headshot. Look at this. He's got it. I love how you use the Arachnatron's little bomb that he shoots at you against him on that glory kill. It's fantastic. Got to get rid of that back cannon, though. Oh, no. You don't want to make it just to be close. That's for damn sure. Oh. oh. That was a nice switch, too, from, again, from freeze but ice bomb straight back to the actual regular grenade. Yes. Just totally negate that cooldown. I, I will say, Hugo's played Doom Eternal alone literally hundreds of hours. So... Like I, I think if you're a gamer and you're gonna you're gonna invest your money on Doom Eternal, yeah. Like to me, this is just like I'm gonna play this game for a really really long time yeah. because this is I mean it's it's thrilling and like the challenge. You don't have to play it on Nightmare. You can play it on Easy. You just come back, play it again and again, and just get better and better and better and better. It's it's uh it, it's really a ton here. And speaking of investment, this level itself, Cult of Space, is actually as a pre-order incentive. If you get the deluxe edition, day yeah. one, you're going to have this yep. to play. Absolutely. Yep. Then we'll have new ones coming out all the time, which is yep. pretty cool. Yeah, we're really looking forward to it. It's fun. It's, and uh, the designers are, have, have really kind of started to embrace this. And uh, they're even starting to come up with some ideas around changing some of the stuff inside the level a little bit. We can't, like, move walls and stuff. Yeah. but. Some really interesting things happening where you come back to a place like this and maybe play it, and it's all fog, you know, and you can't oh, even it. see the enemies move through. Ah! So new, all the all the dance that you've already yeah. mastered, like on the regular levels now, on a whole nother level. This is master levels. Ooh. Just a pip of health here, just a pip of armor. He's going to need to restock Stop here. Oh, okay. Selecting the BFG. <laughs> all right, Carcass, time to go. Oh, such a I nice think he's bird got it combo this time there. around. Got past some some hurdles there. All right, so that Arachnatron. A lot of weak points taken out. Perfect chainsaw with the health. Oh, Ooh, that was, oh there wow. was a shot waiting for him when he landed. That Arachnatron's got to get taken care of. God, that satisfying hit of just knocking off that cannon on his arm. Very nice. Oh. oh, God. Almost threw it. Ooh. Get it. Get it. Perfect. Just no. what you need. Let him hear it. That was just for fun yeah. right there. <laughs> that was not even. Oh, Prowler's still around. You guys want to talk about the Prowler? Because you brought him back. He was actually not in the campaign for 2016. Right. He yeah, was he was only. in the multiplayer, right? Exactly. Yeah, he's, he's really cool. Uh, he he kind of teleports around, disappears, teleports around. Is, is a great enemy for getting behind the Slayer and pushing him around the map. If you're if you stand still for a second in an arena with a prowler, they're gonna they're gonna sneak up behind you and, and really deal some some pretty nasty melee damage. And I feel like like you just saw right there, 
even the smallest of fodder, their melee in Eternal will like basically oh, in, in negate Nightmare, your armor. Like yeah, you just you can't get close to anything. Switching to lock on right there was awesome. I never thought that the Baron Ooh. could get somehow like more Bowling. aggressive, but <laughs> when he's made of lava, yes. essentially inside, and you don't want to be anywhere near too. this guy. Like that was oh yeah, the gore is incredible. Oh. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> you just made a gymnast out of him there. <laughs> yeah, the whole destructible factor now is really awesome. So yeah. You start plugging off different parts of the demons. Yeah. Yeah, it's not only beautiful, but you can you really get a sense. I think you can see it while you're watching it. How you know how, what what health level? It's almost like this this full body health bar for the demon. Yep. You want to talk about getting sweaty too? I feel like relieved right now when they're just like <laughs> taking these nice jumps, sort of dashing around freely. Like the level of sweatiness in master levels is high. Sweat high. Volume. Yeah. Sweat per second is like a high count, I feel. Switching to the rocket launchers. Looks like he was doing remote detonate on that too, which is a really nice touch. I love remote detonation with the rocket launcher because you don't have to be precise. Yeah, no, it's it's really uh, it's it's one of my favorite mods, um, and uh, I I would say it's actually a little um, it, it's one that's worth upgrading a lot, you know, because sure. we've we changed the rocket launcher a little bit to to have more much more direct damage. Yeah. Um, less less on the splash damage, but also a lot of uh, self damage to just to kind of keep you honest with it but uh, when you upgrade the remote detonation it really does some awesome some awesome damage there especially because I feel like the the time it takes to travel since everything is so tuned like tuned and turned up like AI wise yeah like having the, the bailout button if I didn't get a direct hit and I can pop that yeah I feel like that's huge in this it's it's Ooh. great for creating uh, falters too like you'll you'll get a lot of enemies on a falter that then you can quickly swap to another weapon Good example there, the extra life uh, Hugo picked up gets used. Yeah, it does. He's got a good amount of actually ammo to work with right here. Burning him down with a blue stone. Oh, poor pain elemental. Meatball down. <laughs> We've got a whole mode actually called extra life mode that uh, it's like ultra nightmare where if you die, you have to restart the whole game or, or the level. Um, but you can find extra lives, and those will keep you alive. So that's really awesome. totally, totally new way to play the game there, too. That's probably actually a really, really good way to kind of like tune up and make sure you're ready for Ultra Nightmare. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. Ultra Nightmare is really tough this time around. <laughs> the game's twice as big, so you're, I mean, it, it's, it, it's, it's a challenge. It's a long it's rough, run. Yeah. And it's permadeath. It's so. permadeath, yeah. Yikes. I cannot wait to see that in the hands of everybody, but especially speedrunners are probably just like salvating. Effort. Yeah. You know, we can't wait. I mean, a big part of uh, of what we've done with Doom Eternal in general is to really think oh, about... Oh. <laughs> you dropped your super shotgun. You got to pick it up. <laughs> you got to pick it up. <laughs> uh, we focused a lot on watchability. You know, it's... it's uh, when we made Doom 2016, it was just kind of like... I mean, Twitch was around, but it was... It, it, it was it was the first game that we'd made kind of in the Twitch era. Yeah. And, and you know, we were focusing a lot on rebuilding Doom uh, as, a, as a game. This one, we really, we talk about it all the time. Like, what, what is going to be compelling for people to stream, compelling for people to watch? And as you can see, I mean, this is just, it's so much fun to watch. Oh, yeah. and, and we know people are going to love, intense. like, streamers are going to have a lot of opportunities, whether it's master levels or ultra nightmare runs or extra life uh, mode runs, uh, to, to get out there and, and uh, really create some very, very compelling content. And okay, I feel I like part of it, that, the, that the learning is freaking aspect. amazing. It's awesome. Oh like God. all that mid-air switching. Oh my God. And I feel like even though when I saw 2016, I was like, this is the most beautiful game I've ever seen. And right. I thought the colors were amazing. And then you see Eternal. Yeah. And it looks like you were watching it on like a beta tape or something. I know. Again, I'm a, this is a boomer stream now because we're talking about VHS and beta. <laughs> yeah. But I, I got to say, like, again, from a watchability standpoint, it's so clear how the I don't want to shoot that thing. <laughs> Why are you doing that? It's fighting you. Sorry. You designed it this way, and now it's against you. Oh, my God. That Baron is imposing. Oh! Got to get out. Yeah, it's not a good hallway. 
Oh my. Oh, there's so many ground pounds. <laughs> Two barons is a lot. Rough. Yeah. <laughs> now bear in mind, he doesn't have a lot of health oh. right now. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, missed it. Whoa. Oh, swing and a miss. He went right by. Who's it going to be? He's looking for the Baron. Oh, and he switches away. Wait, there it is. Oh. Oh. I don't think he's getting up. Oh, my. You'll see there your your uh, Crucible basically has ammo. You have you have three three uh, pips that you uh, that you have, and then you find more ammo throughout the world. That was a heck of a teleport away. Yeah. But Jason and I were just talking about this the other day. Like the way that you guys use color to differentiate, like the actual levels itself, all the gorgeous artwork going on. Yeah. The enemies, and then every single like how green armor is, how blue health is, and like the way that fireworks, how things are on fire. It's like watchable wise, it's so clear to see how skillful the things that are happening on screen are happening. Yeah, now. yeah absolutely. Like, you, I mean, you can see everything. Like, this is crazy, crazy gameplay. We always talk about it, you know, Doom is a Ferrari. <laughs> this is the Ferrari being driven at like 250 miles an hour. This is like and, Hugo and Andretti basically right, right now? Yeah. On a controller that's inverted. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, we, you when we talk it. about how, how loud things have to be, how we're, we're not afraid, this, this is great. This is like, this is the Doom Hunter right here. And he is, he is really hard. Yeah. Um, oh, God. Oh, a Doom Hunter? At this early stage, this is level yeah. I mean, three this, remix. Is, this yeah. is really this is tough stuff. But you can see how how important all of this stuff is, whether it's the the color of your HUD or the ammo pouring out, or knowing, exactly. like you said, that the that the health is blue when you do the glory kills. You're you're literally making decisions every microsecond, yeah. and uh, it's uh, it's it's critical that all this information is really really clear on the screen. But again, also like like you guys were saying, and this is like a Saturday morning cartoon. I love so much how it's like, this game is not hiding the fact that it's a video game and it's super fun and it's super clear and easy to understand like how these things are working. So again, if you die, it isn't at all, oh, how the hell did that happen? Right. There's a yeah, clear path to understand. You, you always, it's, it's critical when you're playing that, uh, you know, the game, you never feel like you were screwed over by the game. You, you realize, you know, I made a mistake. You know, I backed up into a, a prowler. I, I, you know, I used, I'm, I'm Ooh. Miss flick to a, a gun that I didn't want. Yeah. Um, it's uh, it's it's the thrilling part of uh, part of the experience because you you just you really do get yeah. like it, it's in your control. It's true. Oh my God. Let's give him a hand. Come on. Wow. Woo. Need a cigarette? <laughs> Dude, I need. Uh, I need a uh, light it up. Let's go. Need a Valium. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. So these are the some of the traversal puzzles. Ah, missed. <laughs> Just in case everybody didn't see it, I thought I'd call it out. <laughs> <laughs> and again, monkey bars being a new crazy ass way in Doom Eternal specifically to traverse. And it just gives you a whole nother level of like throwing you around the map to let you use those double jumps, let you those dashes. A little secret just, there. What did you just Ooh. pick up right there? What was that? Mega uh, that was a Megasphere. Yeah, it basically get, it replenishes your health and armor. Okay. Up to, up to max. How you feeling? This is going to be break? super hard. You guys so ready? We're about to Come fight. on. We got we to gotta cheer him on. And, you go. And the one thing that I'm not doing is I'm not using the BFG. You just refuse. Because, because fuck that. I want to kill them myself. You want to be the BFG? Yes. I, like I am it. the BFG. <laughs> oh. oh, such a nice blood punch. Yeah. Oh my god. I don't think his arm is going to be okay. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think he's going to be able to pitch anymore. All right, here he comes. The oh. Marauder. Oh my God. Look how fast he blocks. You'll learn this when you play the game. We don't keep this a secret, but basically the strategy with the Marauder, the, the only way to beat the Marauder is to keep him at a mid-range distance. 
If he's, uh, if you're too far away, he throws his axe at you. If you're too close, he blasts you with his super shotgun. And uh, so you kind of have this really, really fun dance with him where you kind of keep him in the mid range and uh, wait for his eyes to flash green. Otherwise, he'll pull that shield up. Because you have to stagger him, right? He'll oh, 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 God. Oh, my God. So he, yeah, he has a, he summons a fire wolf, and uh, the fire wolf is really deadly. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Because if you're going to you bring a wolf along, I <laughs> mean, right. light him up, I guess. Uh, he's, he's so deadly. hard. You got this. I bet Felix is watching right now and going, I'm counting. I'm counting these. Yeah, F Felix is like, I, I, got, I can take this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh, not enough ammo for that guy. Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. That's actually a really important point, though, Marty. You were telling us before, so with the chainsaw, of course, you cut down enemies to regain that really precious ammo. Yeah. But you can't just, it costs a different amount depending on who you're trying to cut down, correct? Yep, that, absolutely. Uh, so heavies heavies cost uh, three fuel cans. Um, and uh, and zombies cost one, so it is one of those strategies uh, that you'll use throughout. You can see there the, the Marauder's ah! eyes flashing green. Hugo missed the shot, but uh, but that's that's the key. You got to wait for those eyes to flash green and hit him quick with like uh, the super shotgun is great, or the uh, the uh, ballista is another great weapon. Oh, oh my God, the dog! Dog! Oh. No! I love those bite animations. Oh, that was a great shot. Two health here. Oh my God! You need a glory kill it's like so it's, there sweaty. We go. Look at that! Uh, there, there we go. go. There we go. Back up. Back in. Oh the game. my God! But one hit. Oh, ten health. Ooh. Oh my God! The dog. <laughs> that dog got stuck. Good. <laughs> I love the bugs. <laughs> It's not a bug, it's a feature if it helps. Oh! oh! That axe! So that is so fast. So the only way you can get him, you can hurt him, is if you stay at a medium distance, get him to open up with that attack. Right there, yeah. So it's uh, what it is, is it's a, uh, it's a Jedi fight. It's a samurai fight. You have to maintain the distance, like a fencing, you know, you gotta fight, bait whatever him, they right? call. And, yeah. and um, when he uh, uses his axe melee swipe, he'll flash green, and that's when you can hit him. But the, yeah. the, it's hard to maintain his distance, and then um, he'll summon his dog. And that is, is such a quick wolf. window. Yes, not a dog. Oh, seriously, we should have cut the fire Shih tzu wolf. is a dog. We should have cut all this from the game. <laughs> <laughs> Take it all out. It should have been uh, just like a Pomeranian just comes by, licks you, gives you some help. Hey, remember, uh, remember that time when Hell Knights were. Yeah, when Hell Knights were tough. Yeah, like back in Doom 2016. Right. Now right? Good God. Oh, my God. So Ooh. really quick, uh, every time I shoot a horoscope <laughs> at somebody's head, I get a, a AOE blast. So it's actually I could do damage to other things in the world. So Which I'm is an upgrade. That's like a master. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to hit uh, headshots uh, like crazy because they damage uh, players in the world. Nice. All right, all right, let's do this. He's going down. Come on, let's go. Oh, God. Oh, God, the axe is awful. <laughs> Boom. Ooh, there we go. Boom. There we go. That was two good hits. Oh, God. Get out of there. He's going to... showed you the tutorial on that loading screen. It is really important to pay attention to the tutorials, both when they pop up in the game and uh, and at the loading screen if right. you're having trouble. it's probably The game's probably going to tell you how to do it. Oh, oh man. Just out of reach. I think you got it. This is Next it. One. This is it. Is this it? This is it. Uh, no, is this it? I feel Come it. On. We got Hugo Andretti Martin on the couch driving a Ferrari. This has got to be the run. That Hell Knight, that's an appetizer. Oh. Get him out of there. Ooh. Oh, he doesn't need that. He didn't need that spine. He didn't need it anymore. <laughs> All right, let's get away from these guys. And let's dance, just me and you. 
And I could use some ammo. Very nice. When you when you face the Marauder in the game, a lot of you will probably figure out quickly that a good, pretty good strategy is to uh, use the BFG to clear out all of the other uh, enemies and just kind of face the Marauder, particularly the first couple times you see him one-on-one, uh, -on -one, because he is he is definitely tough. Yeah, there's so many. You're seeing this at Nightmare right. difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's such a pressure unit that like he yeah. makes the fodder so much more dangerous because you can't pay attention to them. This is so stressful. It's such say, a different Mason, fight, though. Like, oh, God, I, I have no. to say, you know, when you play him in the game, he's so he's so different than what you're used to facing. It's such a fun change of pace uh, because you do you get into yeah. this kind of squared off. Oh, oh my God! Ooh. That was a good dodge. Hey, there's right a there. clear strategy you have to follow here, oh. Oh. or not? Son of a bitch! Oh. <laughs> that was really close. Oh my God! That was like a 50-50 right there. <sighs> But I love that, okay, the Slayer is obviously a complete badass. It's hard to take him down. You have cyber demons coming at him that are like towers. Yeah. But yet, there's the showdown with somebody just your size. Yeah. Who's wearing kind of similar looking armor. Absolutely, yeah. It, it, I mean, even that, you know, I, I, you're making a good point. I, I think it, it, it reinforces what a badass you are when you're, you're facing off a corrupted sentinel warrior right. yeah. that is, you know, taking you toe to toe. Yeah, and, exactly. and then when you, when you overcome, it just is, it's awesome. It's a, it's almost a little bit of fun lore <clears throat> just in an enemy like that. I mean, everybody knows game recognized game. And when you see that guy, you're like, I'm preparing right now. I got to get all my ammo together. I got to get my attacks together. Oh my God. I have to respect him. You got this it. I feel it. It's yeah. about to happen. You're good, you're good on, you're good on health. This is it. Nice. This is it. Oh yeah. I can feel it. Look at that. That technique is so high level. We talked about that a little bit the other day. Yeah. But he basically burned him, what, with his actual meat hook to get there. That's a super upgraded super shotgun. Yeah. And and uh, there it is. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Now, oh, no, now you got to survive. You got to survive. <laughs> Make it count. But, yeah, you're, you're, uh, that's the upgraded meat hook. Right. So it Woo! sets him on awesome. fire as soon as you wow. go on. Let's, Let's let him hear it. My God. Uh, but yeah, the upgraded meat hook has, uh, has is a flame meat hook, of course. Yeah. Of course. And uh, and so when you hook it to an enemy, it turn it, it lights them on fire just like your flame belch would. So when you do that damage, you get that burst of uh, of armor. It's fantastic. Yeah. The most satisfying thing is to like triple and quadruple stack so much damage that they don't even like know what to do, and it feels amazing. It, it, you're not breaking the game, but it almost feels like you're breaking the game. We actually have intentionally created moments with all the resource management and the DPS that you could put out, as you see, is I'm like quadruple stacking like a bunch of things. Like I'll, I'll, uh, I have it upgraded, so like I'll freeze a guy, and when I do damage because I got the perk on, 